Brewer's Log, June 24th, 2023. So tonight we got a, a we were able to bottle 11 jars of kombucha up. The six on this side are, have this uh, spirit, blue spirulina in it. That's why they've got the blue and the, the foam on it right now. Because trying to get it mixed up before we put it in the fridge. And the other five are using elderberry in them. But they were what came out of these two jars. You can see that, that I've they're drained all the, almost all the way down. I took out the extra Scoobies and just left the, uh, the most recent one in there. I gave my uh, uh, black soldier flies a worm or, or uh, larvae the other uh, 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 the, the other or, uh, scoobies and so these are great getting ready for adding more or tea into them one of these will get a tea tomorrow morning and the other will probably get the uh, its tea tomorrow afternoon so uh, but I usually leave just what's in the bottom of the jars in there and start from that with just one of the Scoobies and hopefully that will get me going. Um, something else that I will see if I can get a good view on it. I may need to move these out of my way. Let's see if we can see the yeast in the bottom and see if it'll do what it's been doing. Okay, I'm starting to see it there. So I'm noticing the yeast is rising up and then falling back down. Bottles don't feel warm, so I don't think I'm bubbling them. I think it's the yeast is just that active that it's going up and down. I have not seen that before. I'm guessing it's the heated mat underneath it. It's still... 66 degrees down here and 35% humidity, so it's not like it's really that warm. And the mat usually only gives it maybe 5 to 10 degrees warmer. So I'm guessing that that, that is something I just hadn't either seen before. I'd use the mat in the winter. This is the first time I've actually had the mat on in the summer. Or, um, so I'm going to have to wait and see how that what that does. But since they're all three bubbling away just fine... I'm not sure what that means. I'll have to see if I find any more information on that because that was something new that I can't say I've, I've noticed before. So it's a little bit different. So tonight that was what I was able to get done and I had that observation that I thought was really strange and unusual, but it's not something I have noticed before or really have, have seen. So I'll have to see if it's anything extra. These three ready, should be ready to rack. I plan on doing that tomorrow night now that we've got the kombucha all done and then should get more kombucha going tomorrow. So hopefully I'll have another brewer's log tomorrow uh, after I get those racked and ready to get, uh, let's see if they're ready to cold crash. All right, bye. So the rising yeast got me actually thinking and wondering, okay, what temperature is the uh, bottles actually at? So I went and got my gun main part of the bottle, or up at that level, is 73, 73, looks like I'm 78, 79 down towards the yeast, and it looks like the mat may be running about 87, there's a 90, there's 91 over there. So the bottle there, I'm showing 83, 86, go a little bit higher, 78, 76, 75, let's try this one, 74, getting down into the east, 76, 77, 80, mat is 91. So after looking at that, I'm pretty sure I'm running it a little too warm. I know that the SO4 can make it up into the 80s without too much problems. The new temperatures even say all the way, hey, the actual brewing temps up to 79. Um, watching this go, it's going in fairly wild. So 
I don't know what I'm going to do with this. I may pull those off. I may leave them on for the first week and then pull them off. I'm not sure. It's definitely a different than what I expected and I'll have to see how this one comes out. I guess I may be saving the uh, what's sitting on the cabinet there or once it's bottled and make sure I keep that for the uh, helping hops ups in case this one doesn't come out quite as well as I would like. But part of me wants to leave it on there and see where it's at when it, it actually finishes out the sugar because it's going wild and it's definitely interesting. So I want to see where the flavor is and it'll be definitely interesting to be able to try the flavor of this versus this side by side and see, okay, did it come out the same um, even though it was at the higher temperature or did the higher temperature make the uh, it taste bad? So uh, I'm going to see where it goes from there, but I definitely wanted to get the temperature recorded and show what I found from that because that it's a little warmer than I was expecting because I was thinking it was only going to be a few degrees warmer because as I said, it's 66 in here and that was showing 74, 75 and the middle one showing that it's uh, 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 closer to 79. So a little warmer than I think I should be doing cider, but part of me wants to see what happens and see how it comes out.